Hello YouTube, this is uh, Kanfar here. Today I want to show you how to create a, a new a spectrum analyzer software using GNU Radio Companion. So let's uh, fire it up. It's easy and simple and fast uh, project today. Uh, how to create your own spectrum analyzer software. Uh, today we we want to use a WXGUI. So file a new WXGUI block here and just define it uh, as what what you like. I will define it as a spectrum analyzer. And the title Okay, now we need to to uh, create a WXGUI slider. Okay, let's define it as a RF gain. And let's make uh, the default value 10. And the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 40. Okay. We need another uh, WXGUI slider. So let's define it as a frequency. And let's make the default frequency like uh, 868.6 megahertz you can define it as what you like e6 and the minimum uh, frequency let's make it uh, 25 megahertz so let's uh, put it 25 e6 and the maximum value 1750 E6 and let's make the number of steps 1000 okay right now we need another WXGUI slider Let's define the ID as a bandwidth and make sure to put the default value for the bandwidth 2.4 MHz. So let's make a 2.4 E6 and let's make uh, the minimum uh, value 1.6 um, MHz. I think it's good, so let's make it 1 E6. And the maximum value, let's make it uh, 3 megahertz bandwidth. So let's put a uh, 3 E6. Okay. Now we need the uh, Osmo Com source. Here in Osmocom source, 
we need to change the sample rate to bandwidth the bandwidth uh, we make in uh, WXGUI slider here we need to put the sample rate for that uh, WXGUI slider ID defined before so let's uh, make changes to from sample rate to bandwidth and the frequency we need uh, to change it to a frequency WXGUI slider ID defined before so let's change it to a frequency okay now uh, make sure to 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 put uh, IQ balance mode uh, as a uh, automatic here and make sure to put the channel zero gain mode uh, as automatic okay let's increase this here and now we need to change uh, the channel zero RF gain to the RF gain that we defined before here from WXGUI slider so when you change the WXGUI slider in user interface so it's changing the Osmocom source uh, RF gain value. So let's make the RF gain in channel zero as a RF gain from here from WXGUI slider ID and the channel zero RF gain 20 and 20. Okay. Everything is good right now. Okay, now this uh, variable it's coming by default when you create a new uh, WXGUI. So this uh, we need to delete this. We don't need this. Okay. Now here in step in this step we need uh, a throttle. So the ID is the blocks the throttle zero and it's complex. Let's, let's change the sample rate as a bandwidth. As a bandwidth ID we defined before from the WX GUI slider. So let's change it to bandwidth. And the vector length is one and ignore our X ray tag true. Okay. This is simple. Uh, just eight blocks to to create your uh, spectrum analyzer software using GNU Radio Companion under Windows 10. Okay, now we need a WXGUI FFT sync. Let's put it here. Okay, let's change the sample rate to the bandwidth we defined before from here. Let's make it bandwidth. And the base uh, band frequency, let's make it as a frequency we defined in the ID in WXGUS ladder here from this block. So let's Change the baseband freak as a frequency defined. Okay. And uh, the FFT size is uh, 1024. And the refresh rate 15 and the peak hold it's off and make uh, sure the average uh, turn it on
Okay. And the FFT size, make sure it's uh, 1024. It's uh, beta. Okay, finally, we need another WXGUI. We need right now a block, a waterfall sink. WXGUI waterfall sink. Okay. Okay, let's change the sample rate. As a block we defined before as a bandwidth. And the baseband frequency, let's make it as a frequency. Frequency is a frequency from here, and the bandwidth from, uh, got the bandwidth from here. And the dynamic range is 100, and the reference level is 0. And the FFT size, let's make it as a 1024. 1024, and the FFT rate is 15, is good. I make sure the average is turn it on. Okay. Okay, now from the Osmocom source, it's connected to the thr throttle input and uh, the, from the throttle output to WXGUI FFT sync, and another one from the throttle output to WXGUI waterfall sync. As you can see here, it's simple, very simple and very small and easy to make with just 80 blocks. So now Let's uh, put here to create, a, to save the GRC file to desktop, like uh, Spectrum Analyzer Test in desktop. Let's save the GRC file, and now let's uh, generate the flow graph here by clicking here, and another click here to create a Python block. So let's fire it up. As you can see here, let's make it auto scale here. Now let's increase the gain, RF gain to a 22 and put auto scale as you can see right now here. The spectrum analyzer here is working and very easy and simple. You can check the frequency. I defined the frequency 868.4 MHz as a center frequency. You can choose it what you like. From here, like uh, let's try 99 MHz to so going to FM uh, band frequency. As you can see here, you can change the bandwidth here. You can increase the bandwidth to 2.6, 2.8, or to the maximum uh, 3, and you can decrease it from here, as you can see, you can increase the frequency from here,
it's simple and easy to to build as you can see auto scale and increase the RF gain as you can see here the trunk of the activity here in spectrum it's appearing okay YouTube this is kind for here thank you for watching and stay tuned for another video in uh, GNU radio companion how to create your own softwares under uh, Windows 10 okay my friends thank you for watching bye bye